Jesus. Realizing he made a wrong turn, he tried to correct it before it was noticed. He apologized for any alarm he may have broken. Leaves say he will be released. Who wants to be first tonight for feelings? I felt very angry this afternoon. My child care group was in the play area, and we had a visiting group of sevens, and they did not obey the rules at all. I was so angry at one male, I made my hand into a fist, like this. Where were the visitors from? Some other community I don't remember. How did you feel when your group of sixes visited another community last year? Strange. They were learning usages my group hadn't learned yet. So we felt stupid. Do you think the boy today felt strange and stupid, being in a new place with rules he did not know about? Yes. I feel a little sorry for him. Me too. And sorry I made a fist. Thank you. Well, I'm feeling a little worried. One of the new children's not doing well. What gender is it? He's a sweet little male, but he's not growing as fast as he should be, and he doesn't sleep soundly. The other nurturers and I have him in the extra care section, but the committee's beginning to talk about releasing him. Oh no! I know how sad that must make you feel! I think he just needs something extra. I may ask the committee for permission to bring him here at night, if you don't mind. Of course! Maybe we could even keep him! Lily! I know. Two children to each family. Very clear. Thank you. Jonas? Jonas? What? We're sharing feelings. Anything you would like to share? I'm feeling apprehensive. Why is that, son? It's almost December. The ceremony of 12. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your feelings. Lily, go get on your night clothes. Father and I are going to talk to Jonas for a while. But... Lily? Uh, privately? Yes. This talk will be a private one with Jonas. <laughs> Jonas, when I was an eleven, as you are, there wasn't the suspense there is for your ceremony of twelve. I was already fairly certain what assignment the Council of Elders were going to give me. How? It's a secret. Yes, how do you know? I knew what my gift was. While the other children my age group were holding bike race races or building bridges at their construction sets, I spent all of my volunteer hours in the nurturing center with new children. The elders knew that. They have been watching me a lot at school. They watch all the elevens and take notes. They don't make mistakes. Soon my assignment was announced as nurture. It wasn't a big surprise. It's what I most wanted. But I don't know what I most want. I don't even know what my gift is. What if I'm disappointed with my assignment? They'll pick exactly the right assignment for you. Don't worry. And after your ceremony, you'll be training with your new assignment group. But Asher and I will still be friends, right? And we'll still be in school. Absolutely. So... There'll just be changes. Good changes, though. After my ceremony, when I entered training for law and justice, I found new friends who shared my interests. Did you still play after 12? I still do every day in the nurturing center. Hug the teddy, peekaboo. Fun doesn't end when you become 12. <laughs> This is surely a very long private conversation. I'll come help you remove your hair ribbons, Lily Billy. Are all comfort objects imaginary creatures? I think so. Yours is an elephant, right? Right. Mine was a bear. Mine was a dolphin. Twelve days till ceremony. Toss me an apple. Asher. What? I need you to move my hand-eye coordination, don't I? No doubt. You know what I don't want to be assigned? I could never be an instructor of threes. Can you imagine me teaching that precise language? They'd all be asking for a smack when they wanted a snack. You think after the fourth round of the discipline wand I'd have learned enough to say, I want my smack at mealtime. Remember the lashes on your legs? Remember? When I stopped talking all together? Did what? Nothing. Ash, does something seem strange to you about 
the apple. Yes! It keeps jumping out of my hand onto the ground. Look how tiny he is! He has funny eyes like yours, Jonas! Lily, it's for you to point out differences. I apologize, Jonas. I accept your apology. But your life, like yours, maybe he's the same birth mother as you. What is this comfort object called? Hippo, it says. Hippo! I think you children are so cute. I hope I get assigned to be a birth mother. Lily, don't say that! There's very little honor in that assignment. But Natasha, that's the volunteering hours at the birthing center, and she says the birth mothers get wonderful food, and they play games. For three years, Lily. Three births, and then their laborers for the rest of their lives until they enter the house of the old. Is that what you want? Well, no, I guess not. I wish we knew his name. Well, I feel a little guilty about this, but I saw this year's naming list in the office today. Number 36, this little fellow. If he's to make it to the naming ceremony without being released, he's to be Gabriel. Hello, Gabriel. I call him Gabe, actually. Gabe. It's a good name. Attention. This will remind to all male 11s. The audience should stay in their information center and food is to be eaten, not hoarded. Thank you. Six days till ceremony. I just wanted to look at it. Hello, Jonas. Hello, Fiona. I just found out. My family is getting a new child tomorrow at the ceremony. I am so excited. I'm just scared. Are you sure scared is the right word? I heard about a guy who was absolutely sure he was going to get a sign engineer. Instead, they gave him sanitation labor. He went out the next day, jumped into the river, swam across, and joined the next community he came to. Nobody ever saw him again. Somebody made that story up, Ash. My father said he heard that when he was a 12. I can't even swim very well. My swimming instructor says I don't have the right boyishness or something. Buoyancy. Whatever, Fiona. I don't have it. I sink. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever known of anyone, I mean, really known for sure, that joined another community? No, but you can. It says so on the rules. If you don't fit in, you can apply for elsewhere. If you release. How can someone not fit in? We're all going to get just the right assignments. You'll see. Day of ceremony. One day till ceremony. And there I was, on mother's bicycle, against the rules. And there were two security guards. I was so terrified. Do you think this was a warning dream? I guess, not to take other people's things. Thank you for your dream, Lily. How about you, Father? No dreams last night. Gabe, any dreams? <laughs> Jonas? <laughs> I did dream last night. For once. I think I was in the house of the old. Didn't you and your friends volunteer there yesterday? Yes, but it wasn't the same. There was only one tub in the dream. And Fiona was there. Asher too? No, it was only me and Fiona. I think I was trying to get her into the tub of water. I wanted to bathe her, but she wouldn't. She kept laughing and saying no. That's all. Can you describe the strongest feeling in your dream? The wanting. I knew she wouldn't, and I think I knew she shouldn't. But I could feel the wanting all through me. Thank you for your dream, Jonas. Lily, will you walk beside me to school this morning? We need to be certain the new child doesn't wiggle himself loose. Wait, Jonas. I'll write an apology to our instructor, so you don't have to speak one for being late. Jonas, the feeling you described is the wanting? It was your first stirrings. It happened to father when he was your age. It happened to me. Do I have to report it? You did, in the dream telling. That's enough. But. The speaker says treatment must take place. My ceremony's tomorrow. 
I don't want to go away elsewhere just because of some stupid dream. No, no, no! It's just the pills! That's all! That's the treatment for the stirrings! The ones you take? Yes! That's all. That's all. But you mustn't forget. I'll remind you for the first weeks, but then you must remember it on your own. If you forget, the stirrings will come back. How long will I have to take them? Until you enter the house of the old. But after a while, you won't even pay attention to it. If you leave right now, you won't be late for school. And Jonas, thank you again for your dream. I'm already forgetting it. Ceremony of Twelve. I hope you get potted. Then you can take me flying. Sure I will. And I'll get a special little parachute that just fits you. And I'll take you up to maybe 20,000 feet. And I'll open the door and... Jonas. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I don't want to be pilot. If I get pilot, I'll put in an appeal. I take it. I'm glad Gabe's here and not being released. You get one more year to see if you grow sufficiently, little guy. We'll have to sign a pledge not to get too attached. But we can discuss this later. Into the auditorium, everybody. Arrange by number. Scoot, scoot. <laughs> How about you, number 20? I think I'm ready. I just need to keep reading. Welcome. <laughs> Today is very special. <laughs> you 11s have spent all your years, until now, learning to fit in, to curb any impulse that might set you apart from the group. But today, you all are 12s. <laughs> and today, we honor your differences. The other elders have observed you carefully all year, and today you receive your assignments. Number one. Medley will receive the assignment of fish hatchery attendant. I'm glad that one's taken. I would have taken it. <laughs> Thank you for your childhood. Number two. Inger will receive the assignment of birth mother. I would have taken that! You can't be a birth mother, Asher. Inger, thank you for your childhood. Five. We've caused you anguish. 
I accept your apology. Please join me. Jonas has been selected to be our next receiver of memory. Such a selection is very rare. We have had one receiver for a very long time. It is she who will train the successor. We failed in our last selection 10 years ago. But um, I will not dwell on the experience because it causes us all great discomfort. But Jonas has shown all the qualities a receiver must have. Intelligence, integrity, courage. Jonas, the training required of you involves physical pain. You have never experienced that. Yes, you have scraped your knees and falls from your bicycle. But you'll be faced now with the but you'll be faced now with the capacity that none of us can understand because it is beyond our experience. The receiver wasn't able to describe it, only to remind us that you'll need an immense courage to face it. You will also have a quality that none of us will understand, but perhaps Jonas will. The receiver calls it the capacity to see beyond. I I think it's true. Sometimes I see things, and maybe they're beyond. <laughs> Jonas, you will be trained to be our next receiver of memory, and we thank you for your childhood. Jonas. <laughs> When I was a 12, I was selected as you have been. 
I came to this very room to begin my training just as frightened as you are. The previous receiver seemed just as old to me as I do to you and was just as tired. Simply stated, my job is to transmit to you all the memories I have with me today. I would be very interested to hear the story of your life, ma'am. I'm not being clear. It's the memories of the whole world. Before you, before me, before the previous receiver, and generations before. I don't understand. What? I don't understand what you mean when you say the whole world, or generations before. I thought there was only us. I thought there was only now. There's much more. There's all that goes beyond, all that is elsewhere, and all that goes back and back. I received all that, and here, in this room, all alone, I re-experienced them again and again. I am so weighted with it, it's like going downhill through deep snow on a sled. At first, it's exhilarating, the speed, the sharp, clear air, but then the snow accumulates, builds up on the runners, you slow, you have to push hard just to keep going. That means nothing to you, does it? I don't understand. Of course you don't. You don't know what snow is, do you? Or a sled? Runners? No. Downhill means nothing to you. Nothing. Move there. Sit down. Close your eyes and relax. This will not be painful. What are you going to do? I am going to transmit the memory of snow. Snow. This is snow. Sled. Hill. I'm on a sled on a hill. And I'm moving downhill. Runners. It's sunburn. 
It hurt a lot, but I'm glad you gave it to me. Get us. It's time to go home. Excuse me. Yes. It's just that I don't know your name. I thought you were the receiver, but you say now that I'm the receiver. So I don't know what to call you. Call me the giver. You slept soundly, Jonas? No dreams? I slept very soundly. I wish this one would. So do I. He's so fretful at night. I slept soundly. Don't forget your pills, though. Thank you. I looked for you yesterday so we could ride home together. Your bike was there, and I waited a while, but then I just went home. I apologize for making you wait. I accept your apology. So, you've been doing so many volunteer hours at the House of the Old. There can't be much you don't already know. Oh, there are dietary rules and medication, punishment for disobedience. Did you know they use the same discipline wand on the old as they do for young children? What? Nothing. Okay, well, I have to go. Me too. You are one minute late. I apologize for <laughs> I'm one minute late because it happened again. What I think you call seeing beyond. Describe it. Well, it started a few days ago with an apple. One second it was a regular apple. And then one second it had changed. It happened again at the ceremony. The faces of the crowd changed just for a second. And just now, outside with Fiona, her hair. Sit down. Call back the memory of the ride from the sled. Just beginning of it. Look down at the sled. Yes, I see it. In the sled. Now, look to the bookcase. The very top row of books. It happened. You are beginning to see the color red. The what? Back in the time of the memories. Everything had a shape and size, but they also had a quality named color. There were lots of different colors, and one of them was red. You and your friend Fiona both have red hair. What to sing it, actually? In the faces of the people at the ceremony? Flesh is not red, but it has red tones in it. There was a time, actually, you'll see it in the memories, when Flash was many different colors. Before we went to sing this, Red was so beautiful. It is. Do you see it all the time? I see all of them. All the colors. Why can't everyone? Why did colors disappear? Our people made that choice. Before my time, before previous time, back and back and back. We gave a color when we gave a sunshine. We gained control of many things, but we had to let go of the others. Well, we shouldn't have. You come very quickly to that conclusion. It took many years. Sit back down. We've got so much to do. I'm going to show you a memory of a rainbow. Asher. Oh, hello, Jonas. Can you do me a favor? What? Look at the geraniums over there. See them? What's the matter? Is something wrong? Nothing. I thought they were wilting for a second, and we should let the gardening crew know. It's not fair. Explain. It's not fair how nothing has color. If nothing has color, then everything's the same, and there aren't any choices. I want to wake up in the morning and decide things. A blue tunic or a red one. I mean, I know it doesn't matter what you wear, but... It's the choosing that's important, isn't it? My little brother. No, that's not him. The new child my family takes care of. Gabriel? He's really cute, and he's grabbing at things. And wouldn't it be great if we could hold up a toy that was bright green or bright yellow, and he could choose? 
He may make the wrong choices. Oh, that would matter later, wouldn't it? Not safe? Definitely not safe. What if people are allowed to choose their own names and they choose wrong? What if people are allowed to choose their own jobs? Right, you <laughs> I can't even imagine it. We really have to protect people from wrong choices. It's safer. Much safer. Sit back now. I'm going to show you something unsafe. It's called an elephant. I'm sorry. 
sorry, I have to give you pain each day now. But let me give you a meadow of yellow wildflowers before you go. Why? Why what? Why do we have to keep the memories? It gives us wisdom. What wisdom do you get from hunger? Some years ago, a lot of citizens petitioned the committee to assign birth mothers four births instead of three so there would be more laborers available. That makes sense. The committee of elders came to me for advice. And you used your memories. The strongest memory that came was hunger. It came from centuries back. The population had gotten so big that hunger was everywhere, excruciating hunger and starvation. It was followed by warfare. What's warfare? You will learn, as you already understand hunger. When was the last time you used your memories? Do you remember the day the plane flew over? Yes, I was very scared. <laughs> so were they. They prepared to shoot it down. But I told them to wait. Why? How did you know the pilot was just lost? I didn't. But I knew there had been times in the past, terrible times, when people destroyed each other in haste and fear and brought their own destruction. And you have memories of that destruction. And you have to give them to me. Yes. It will hurt. It will hurt terribly. Why do we have to keep the memories? They selected us. When did they decide that? It wasn't fair. Let's change it. And how do you suggest we do that? I've never been able to think of a way, and I'm supposed to be the one with all the wisdom. But there's four of us now. Together we can think of something. The decision was made long before my time, and before yours, and before the previous receiver, and... Back and back and back, which means nothing can be changed. He's really changing. He can grab toys, and... After all the extra time we put into him, I hope they don't decide to release him. Maybe it would be for the best. He still doesn't sleep at night. But... And I know you don't mind getting up with him, but the lack of sleep is awfully hard for me. I could take him. What? Why not put Gage Crib in my room tonight? I know how to feed him and comfort him, and it would let you and Father get some sleep. But you sleep so soundly, Jonas. What if his restlessness didn't wake you? If no one goes to tend game room, he gets real lit up. He'd wake all of us up. Someone would hear him. Right. All right, Jonas, we'll try it. Just for tonight. Oh. oh no, Gabe, not already. Don't. Sailing. Gabriel, this is my memory of sailing. And you're taking it. You can't. Stop. Oh no. You're not the receiver. I'm not the giver. This shouldn't... Oh, no. Giver, I could come back tomorrow, unless maybe there's something I can do to help. Please, take some of the pain. Quickly, put your hands on me now. Your favorite. What? Show me your favorite. 
I, you don't have to give it to me. Just tell me about it. I need something to look forward to. No, I'm happy to give it to you. I smell food. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 
then somebody comes to get him. Somebody from elsewhere. That's right, Jonas Bonus. What if they gave the twin a name elsewhere? A name like maybe Jonathan. And here in our community, at his naming, the twin we kept is given the name Jonathan. <laughs> and maybe one day, our group of sixes would go and visit another community, and there in that group of sixes was their Jonathan. And maybe they would get mixed up and take the wrong Jonathan home, and maybe his parents wouldn't notice. And, and maybe when you become a 12, they'll give you the assignment of storyteller. What if we're all twins and we don't know it? And elsewhere, there's another Lily, another Jonas, another father and mother. Lily, it's bedtime.
release of the twins. I thought for a moment that there might be... <coughs> oh, it's just an ordinary room. I thought they have it in an auditorium, so everyone could come on. Shh. That's my father. I thought for a moment that they might be exactly the same. Then we'd have a problem. But this one's six pounds even, so you can clean him up and dress him and take him over to the center. And you, little guy, you're only five pounds, ten ounces, a shrimp. That's the same voice he uses with Gabriel. Watch! Why does he have a needle? Be quiet, Jonas. I know it hurts, little guy, but I have to use a vein. All done. That wasn't so bad, was it? Why isn't the new child moving? He killed it! My father killed it! Bye-bye, little guy. When they notified me that Rosemary had applied for a lease, they turned on the tape to show me the process. There she was, my last glimpse of that beautiful child. Then they brought in the syringe and asked her to roll up her sleeve. You suggested she wasn't brave enough? I don't know about bravery, but I do know. I sat here frozen, and I listened as Rosemary told them she would prefer to inject herself. Then she did so. I didn't watch. I looked away. And there you are, Jonas. You were wondering about release. No. No. No! Jonas! Jonas! You notified the members to you from his family unit that he'll be staying with me tonight for additional training. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for your instructions. Thank you for your instructions, ma'am. I will take care of that, ma'am. Kill people, ma'am. Old people, small newborn people. I'd be happy to kill them, ma'am. Listen to me, Jonas. They can't help it. They know nothing. It's the life that was created for them. It's the same life you would have if you hadn't been chosen. But my father lied to me. It's what he was told to do, and he knows nothing else. Do you lie to me? I am empowered to lie, but I have never lied to you, Jonas. Releasing is always like that? For the old? For people who break the rules three times? Yes. But what about Fiona? She loves the old. What will she do when she finds out? Fiona is already being trained in the fine art of release. She is very efficient at her work. Feelings are not a part of the life she I can't go back. I can't. I won't. I know. That's why we must make a plan. A plan for what? It's always been this way. The memory tells us it has not always been this way. People felt things once, before things changed. And for the first time, I think there may be a way to change again. You must escape, Jonas. If you can't get away to elsewhere, the memories you receive will come back to the community. They'll be forced to bear the burden of the memory as they did when we lost Rosemary. But escape? How? When? The ceremonies are coming up in two weeks. It's a great day of distraction. Nobody even notices when I leave early in the morning. I just say I'm going for a bike ride and be gone before Johnny. In another ceremony, they think I was with Asher or you. And Asher would think you were with your parents or me. And we could be longer away by then. No. You will be on your way. I'm going to stay here. But I need you to come. I can't do this without you. If I go, the community will be thrown into chaos. They'll destroy themselves. I must stay here to help them. But I need you too. Jonas, I wouldn't survive the journey. I'm very weak in now. Do you know that I no longer see colors? For the next two weeks, I'll transfer every memory of escape and courage that I can. It will be difficult, but there must be an elsewhere. You'll find it. Give her. You know the one memory I haven't given you? I wanted to keep it to myself for the last. What? When I was a girl, I didn't have seeing beyond as you do. I had hearing beyond. I began to hear something truly remarkable. It's called music. I'll give you some before you go. No. I want you to keep that, to have with you when I'm gone. Thank you. Then will you come find me? Jonas, we love you, but we have another place to go. 
When our work here is finished, we want to be with our daughter. I didn't know you had a daughter. You never mentioned a daughter. Her name was Rosemary. had to make the choice. When we met this afternoon, even I voted for Gabriel's release. Release? We certainly gave it our best shot, didn't we? Yes, we did! When? When will he be released? First thing tomorrow morning. We have to start our preparations for the naming ceremony, so we thought we'd get this taken care of right away. It's bye bye two in the morning, Gabe. Bye bye, bye bye.
wouldn't even be able to cry right now. So, what kind of a choice is that? Here, it's the memory of a meal. Birthday cake. It's the best I can give you. It was almost gone. I can barely hang on to them now. They're almost gone. Gabriel, we're 